Okay, fantastic. Um, well, we're going to have a reminder media on today for a few minutes at some point. Um, what do you guys see going on with the market right now? How are we feeling about about that? Tammy, your your mic is still hot. Go ahead. Oh, it's definitely slow, but because I think of the area that I'm kind of working, I, I'm I see some activity. Mm -hmm. So you think a, a good so some of this is um, well, guys, it's slow all over the country, and Florida is kind of like what Tammy was just saying. We're all kind of in a good area because people want to come here, um, and. If you're in a good area of the good area, like Tammy's uh, always farmed the Lake Nona area, um, obviously that's a good area um, people want to be in. And I think that that is a, it has its own draws to it, you know, with the medical centers and, and this and that. But um, what else are you guys seeing in, in other areas? Brian, it's George. Hey, George. Hey, I put up a listing uh, definitely overpriced in uh, Citrus Springs on uh, last week, open house on Saturday. Uh, zero participants, and it's easy to get to. Uh, and I also have a call capture system and uh, a bunch of electronic media going out on it. Not much interest, some investor interest that, you know, the initial lowball cash offers. Uh, and, uh, but I'm, I'm amazed. Usually you would see, uh, I think I told you that, that, that I put this ha similar house to this in Chuliota up, uh, sometime last year and I had a hundred showings in a day and 40 cash offers at or above. So the market, uh, has, you know, and, and this is a little bit out there, but as far as distance, but, uh, I, I was amazed at how, uh, how there's absolutely no uh, activity at all. It, to, to me, it looks like the market's froze up at the entry level there. So what do we need to do, guys? How do we, how do we combat that? First of all, what's killed the market? Interest rates. Mm -hmm. And what do, what, so what do we need now? Do we need sellers or buyers? What do we need? It's mostly interest rates, but it's also the holiday time. Um, sometimes it's slow during the holidays. Sometimes it's not, though. It's kind of weird because I've had I, I've told my clients all along that during the holidays between like Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's, it's, it's usually always really slow. But then like two or three of those years, it was busy as all get out. So you never know what to really expect. I think it's both interest rates and the holidays. But like they said, there's always people buying every day, so. Okay, fantastic. Um, yeah, it's it does this every year around the holidays, it slows down. Um, well, we're gonna get back to that in just a minute. Um, reminder, media is here, Michael is here. Um, Michael, I'm gonna make you the host here. And um, some of you guys have done business with, with Reminder Media. Guys, we do, we do this, um, our program, this 100%, you guys know, you guys have heard it a million times, but we, you guys get 100%. You guys, uh, you're supposed to use it, that money that we don't take to, to grow your business. Um, like we we're just talking about how Tammy's done with hers, how you guys decide to spend it, how Tammy spends hers is going to be different from how Kathy spends hers and George spends his and everybody else. So um, this is uh, something you can do. A lot of you guys have been successful with this. Um, we have uh, more than a handful now of you guys have been successful with this. So, Michael, I'm going to turn it over to you. I made you host. Um, and uh, please present away. All right. Thank you very much. Can you hear me okay, Ryan? Or everybody? Okay. I guess not just Ryan, but everybody else would be beneficial. Uh, good morning, one and all. Uh, uh, like Ryan said, my name is Michael Tyndall. I'm a marketing coordinator and uh, account executive over here at Reminder Media. For those who do not know, we've been in business for about 18 years. We're based out of Philly. I'm actually coming from Austin, Texas. Uh, I put the beach background because y'all are in Orlando and I wanted to play, pay homage to y'all. Um, but uh, we started in 04 and we have grown significantly because of our success within the realm of real estate in particular. Uh, the presentation we have put together today is called Stop Missing Opportunity Start Connecting. I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, what I can tell you, 
with complete certainty. It doesn't really matter if you're a brand new agent, uh, part-time, seasoned veteran, anything in between, right? Referral business, client retention, it's absolutely critical for your success in this industry. And I want to highlight a few things from a recent study that was conducted by NAR. Uh, looking at last year's numbers, you'll notice that 60% of buyers, 68% of sellers found their agent by referral or by utilizing an agent that they've worked with previously. Now, I get it. I know everybody wants to be a good listing agent, right? That's where the money's at. Uh, but when you take a closer look at that 68% of sellers that found their agent through referral, you're going to notice that less than 5% of sellers are finding their agent through websites or traditional farming tools combined. So that tells us people are going online, right? They're checking out houses, they're researching agents, but really when it comes time for them to pull the trigger and list their home, they're finding their agent through somebody that they know and trust, or they're using an agent that they've worked with previously. And knowing that your leads, the majority of your leads are coming from these referrals, just where are you spending your money? You know, NAR's recent study found that 63% of licensed agents are spending $0 a year on referral-based relationship expenses. You know, I talk to agents all the time, and the fact is simply that they're struggling to put their effort, emotion, time, energy, money in the right places. And that's why we are in business. You know, uh, Ryan, I know we have a couple different offices here. I don't want anybody who's tuning in today to drive by the home of a past client, a friend, family member, neighbor down the street, coworker, whatever, and see a for sale sign with a competitor's name on it. Right. Nor do I want anybody who's log, uh, tuning in today to log into the MLS after the meeting and see a potential client that you've been devoting time, effort, energy, money into and that they've listed with somebody else. I mean, those are missed opportunities that can be addressed with one really simple statement. You're in a relationship based business. And human nature tends to hover towards what we see most. Uh, that being said, the easiest way for you to generate more referrals and secure re those repeat transactions, you got to remind your clients that you value that relationship and remind them that you appreciate any business that they can send your way. And that's that's what we do. <laughs> uh, we help agents uh, we elevate their branding and stay connected to their sphere and to their clientele so they can generate those referrals and secure those future transactions. So we have a multitude of different ways to help you do that. Uh, the main tools that we use are our publications, our flagship publication, which many of you are familiar with is American Lifestyle Magazine. We've been, we've been doing it for 18 years. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, the content is general interest articles, something for everybody, art, leisure, travel, et cetera. Uh, the three other publications, Start Healthy Magazine is all geared towards a healthy lifestyle, such as fitness tips, building a better immune system, creating a better sleep environment. Uh, and then we have our two newest publications that may be new to y'all. We have Good To Be Home Magazine, which is the one that I, I love. I, I, my personal favorite, it, it really is the best of both worlds because it's all about the home right and it but it's not a real estate magazine it's interior design decor gardening landscaping great recipes uh energy efficiency home remodeling tips and tricks things like that business in action magazine is our newest publication and this is really great for those who are also doing commercial real estate or or, or only doing commercial real estate it's all business related content that your clients are going to appreciate using social media to expand your business better management of remote employees, uh, you know, creating a healthy work environment, things like that. Now, all the publications are obviously different when it comes to their content, but they do have the same level of customization and branding for you and your business. They're the same cost, they're the same length. You just choose what publication fits your brand and your demographic that you're, you're trying to stay connected to the best. You can also rotate between the publications. So you could mail out Start Healthy at the beginning of the year when everybody's making the New Year's resolutions. And then in the spring, mail out Good to Be Home with all the good gardening tips and tricks and spring cleaning articles and stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Now they're all 48 pages, super high quality Think Architectural Digest, branded entirely to your business and to each of your recipients. Uh, 
kind of like what I mentioned with Good to Be Home. It, it, it is important to note that there isn't any business related content when it comes to real estate in these magazines. We do not want them to, uh, your your clients in your sphere to feel marketed to or solicited to in any way. We want them to perceive uh, perceive this as a gift from you to them. That's going to help you develop that uh, and nurture that relationship and it's going to dramatically increase your shelf life, right? You think about the solicitations that you yourself get in the mail. Well, how long are you really holding on to them? So on the front cover, Right off the bat, you have the ability to brand yourself right there. It's gonna uh, people are gonna instantly know who sent them this when they pulled it out of their mail uh, their mailbox. Your picture, logo, contact information, all right there. Every issue has of all our publications have several options for you to choose when it comes to the uh, the cover options and the designs. And now on the inside front cover, when people open it up, there's gonna be a letter. And it's going to be addressed to your recipients by their name. It doesn't say anything lazy or generic. It doesn't say dear valued client. Uh, it's going to say dear Bill and Judy, dear Fred and Wilma. Uh, this letter you can actually tweak and customize to the recipient. For example, you got a couple A-listers on your list that just had a baby. Got to let them know that you know and care, right? Dear Bill and Judy, congratulations on the new addition of the family. Saw the baby pics on Facebook. She is adorable. Can't wait to meet her. That one sentence, right? That's an added bit of personality that's gonna go a very long way in the eyes of your recipients. You're, you're, you're really showing that you care about them. If you are having some of these mailed directly to yourself to hand out or put in local businesses, or maybe you're a newer agent or targeting a, a newer area, this letter is the perfect place to put a value proposition. How long have you been in the area? What are you looking to achieve for your clientele? How long have you been in real estate? Let people get to know you. We gravitate and do business with those that we feel comfortable and familiar with. In addition to the front uh, front cover, front inside cover, you also get two tear out cards that are branded to you and your business. Recipe cards are a huge hit, uh, but we do have hundreds of options for you to choose between. Uh, these are great for being torn out, passed along to a prospect from somebody, uh, from somebody in your, your sphere or one of your clients. And you also get the back cover and the back inside cover as well. Again, to make it as easy for you as possible, we have a ton of templates for you to choose between with your photo and branding to be displayed. But if you'd like, we could help you design something from scratch specifically for you. So client testimonials, current listings, recent closings. I, I work with a lot of agents that will partner up with a lender and put that lender on the back inside cover. They'll put their spouse's business, their, their spouse's cafe, coffee shop on the back inside cover or one of the tear out cards. There's a lot of things that we can do to really tweak and customize this to you. Um, now, there are some things in this industry that I'm gonna beg you not to do. Uh, please do not take your clients out to dinner every other quarter to earn their business five years down the road. I can guarantee you, you will, you'll, you'll go broke. Uh, the, on the other side of that spectrum are the, the newsletters, the flyers, the calendars, et cetera. And I'm not knocking these things. I mean, we do postcards here. We do digital services here. Every touch point does have value. However, the number one compliment that I hear from the agents that we're working with is our shelf life. We actually track our shelf life to be about a month inside the home. Now, at this time, there's gonna be a few things happening for you and your business. Rather than getting thrown in the trash can like a lot of the other tools out there that are available to you, you're laying in on the coffee table, the kitchen counter. Honestly, you may even land in the bathroom. Doesn't really matter. They've got a visual representation inside their home of how much you value that relationship. Therefore, you're gonna be more top of mind when it comes to real estate. You know, Perception is reality. You got to brand yourself at a high level because people want to work with those and refer those who are at the top of their game or appear at the top of their game. So when it comes to trusting an agent uh, with buying, selling a home, I want to ensure each of you are considered first and foremost over your competition in the market. Uh, my goal is to have your each of your names comp completely synonymous with real estate to each of your recipients. That's the best way to capitalize on the opportunities that they encounter. Um, Anybody have any questions at this time? I will stop for questions after I go over the numbers because I know someone's going to ask me how much does it cost. So put a pin in that question. But any other questions? No, going once, twice. Okay, sold. I'll keep going. Uh, all right, so we have added a couple new features as part of our program to help you and your business out. The first uh, new tool that we have is our predictive analytics tool. We call it targeted follow-up. 
basically what it is, is not only are we going to get you in these homes, right? So you can stay top of mind in the presence of opportunity. We're going to tell you who in your database is most likely going to have real estate needs in the next year. So we're looking at property data, behavior data, consumer data, over a million data points with up to a 72% accuracy. We're going to tell you who you need to make a priority, who you need to be reaching out to, reconnecting, re-engaging with. Most people, uh, like 80% of people are doing business with the first agent that they talk to. So this is a golden opportunity for you to make sure that none of these relationships that you have are slipping through the cracks and going to another agent. Uh, the next tool that we just added is landing pages. So I mentioned maybe having some of these mailed directly to yourself for promotional copies. We're going to create a QR code and a landing page specifically for you and your business to go along with that QR code. So if you're putting it in a spa salon, waiting room, uh, don't laugh, but divorce attorney's offices is a great place to have a presence. Someone's losing the home. Or you can hand them out at listing appointments, open houses, uh, if you're approaching FISBOs or expired listings. But when they go to that, uh, that landing page of yours, when they pull out their cell phone and click on that QR code, we can capture their information. And what we'll do is we'll actually email you and text you that new leads contact information so you can reach out to them immediately. You know, that speed to lead is one of the most important things when it comes to uh, getting new, new prospects. So we're going to really help you out with that as well. Okay. I told you I would go over pricing, so I'm a man of my word. Grab the pens, grab the papers. I'll go over those real quick. So there's a few incentives that we're offering as part uh, as, as a group promotion for the offices today. Uh, the first is the activation fee. Now it's typically $299. What we're doing is we're dropping that down to $99 for y'all. Uh, that gets you a couple things. Obviously, your account gets activated, but it gets you exclusivity with your mailing list, which is really important. Anybody that you want to mail our publications to, you give me their name and address, they're locked in, so no other agent, financial advisor, nobody else can mail this to you, your, your contacts, your sphere, your, your clients, except for you. Uh, it says social media library on the screen. I actually like to use the word resource library because not only is there social media content for you to take advantage of for Facebook and Instagram, but there's also call scripts in there. There are free printables, uh, free lead magnets. There's a lot of cool tools uh, at your disposal as a client of ours. And then you get a marketing advisor. You actually get a team of three people who are going to walk you through the whole process. Now, the price per unit is only $4.19. It is the holiday season, so I'm going to tell you it's cheaper than a Hallmark card. I think some of y'all have already bought some of those. That does include the postage and mailing, and the minimum is only 50 right? Let's not mail this out to thousands of people. Let's target like your top 50 relationships, the people that know you, like you, trust you the best. Those are the individuals that are going to send the most business your way, and we got to remind them that you're in real estate and that you appreciate any, uh anything that they're sending your way, right? You're not the only agent that they know. Um, lastly, it's a one-time mailing. Do it once, test the waters with us, right? Let the response dictate your future with us. All right, last thing before I let y'all go is uh, I wanna highlight something that's critical. It, it, it honestly doesn't matter if you're a client of ours or not, right? Phone calls are absolutely necessary to keep your business moving forward. And what I can do is, uh, the, the true value I can provide you is this. Nobody likes receiving phone sales calls, right? And you use the magazine, you use the articles, the tips, the tricks, the recipes as talking points and reasons for you reaching out. And what you're going to realize is that that barrier from agent to client is dissolved. It's broken down. You're having a friendly conversation that has absolutely nothing to do with real estate. And on that call, gets your two most important questions answered. Is the relationship with your client still intact? And is anybody prospecting them for their business? These are things that you absolutely need to know. And then once you've solidified that relationship, do what you do best. Set the expectation that you're looking to help out their friends, their family in any way possible, right? A lot of the people that you have in your database, you got to paint the picture of what a good real estate lead looks like. Do you know anybody who's having a baby, getting married, unfortunately getting divorced? I'd love to reach out, answer any real estate questions that they may have. Or a friend of yours is a friend of mine, right? And when you're focusing your marketing on people that already appreciate and value you as a person, it's not if you're going to get business from them, but rather when you're going to get that business. So are there any questions now that I've kind of gone over the pricing and everything? I know I went through that a little fast. So I want to be respectful of y'all's time. Anybody, you can also put it in the chat. No? 
going once, twice. Okay. Well, uh, I do want to thank everybody for listening to me today. I know y'all have a lot of people in here and you got a meeting to get to. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these incentives open for the next two weeks, but please write my number down. Uh, it's 609-566-9619. If anybody's thinking about this, they want to try it out or just have a few questions, shoot me a text right now saying you want to talk later today or tomorrow. And if you give me a shot today or tomorrow, I'll pay for an extra 15 magazines on your first mailing as a personal thank you from me to you. And the last thing I did want to mention, I forgot to mention this when I was going over the incentives. If you are a past client of ours, that activation fee is a one-time activation fee. So if you've already paid that in the past, reach out to me. I can actually get that waived for you if you've paid it before. So you would just be the issue cost if you're a past client of ours. Um, but thank you for your time. Thanks for having me out, Ryan. I appreciate you. You bet. You bet. Um, and I'll, I'll uh, give me your, if you guys need his information, it's right there on the screen. Um, Michael, make me the host again, please. Um, and I, I appreciate you coming in. Appreciate your time. Um, I'd love for you guys to see this kind of stuff. So Michael, we'll be in touch. Thank you very much. Absolutely. I just made you host again already. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Take care. All right, guys. Um, hold on a second. Ryan, I have a question for you. Okay, hold on tonight. Okay. Actually, go ahead with your question, Sunan. Okay, I have a client that just called me yesterday. They're looking for, um, you know, do you know of any new communities around your area, UCF, if they're building, but they want something that they can move in by January? And if any of these builders are offering good incentives in, in your area, in the UCF area. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't live there. Um, do you guys, I, I don't, that's, I'm, anybody know, please help her. Um, you can put it in the, uh, in the FRI Facebook page, if you want some help on that. Um, and I can help you set up a, a search if you, if you know how to do that. I'll um, do that. Yeah. yeah, set up a search. I, I, I don't know. know. Sometimes. Because see, builders are changing incentive now. They're going from 3% to 5% with bonuses. So I just wanted to know that if anybody's heard that in you know, the Oviedo area, Alofia Trail. You can search uh, new construction in the MLS. And there's I yeah, can't yeah. imagine there's tons of it. What price range are they in? Uh, about 500000 Four to 500000 put new 000. construction in. You guys, yeah. this is a great segue to, to next week's meeting. So there is a thing that you get with your MLS that is a free pre-construction MLS type thing. Are you guys familiar with this? You will be familiar with it next week because next week's meeting is about this and you guys all get it for free for the first year or something for being with FRI. You get it for a discount or something being with MLS. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but they're going to be here next week to talk to you guys. So I'm very excited okay. about that. Can um, you get little briefing on that please I, I will you know you'll get the whole thing when I get it next week so okay. it is um, uh, it's called NEO NEO the MLS of pre-construction at your disposal so it's like an MLS of pre-construction so it'll be cool cool stuff for new homes um, so just so is this a private here. entity or is it attached to MLS it is a private entity who um, has partnered with MLS to give all the MLS people a discount, but he's going to give all of our people, because I told him not all of you guys are in Stellar. Um, so he's giving all FRI agents, uh, not he, the guy I talked to, um, is going to give us all like a free year of it or something like that for being okay. an FRI agent. Um, okay. So, and you, you get it being part of MLS free for a little while. Um, so I'm not sure exactly uh, what it does and what the deal is. I had a brief conversation with him. It sounded very exciting. Um, I will certainly, um, I want to wait till this meeting's over before I prop up another meeting to avoid confusion. So it'll be next week, next, next Wednesday. Um, okay. So now that the gentleman is from Michael is gone from Reminder Media, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. So um, Reminder Media is one of the few people that I let come in here and do a 10 minute commercial for you guys. And the reason is because I believe in it. I think it's really good. Um, the magazines have worked for several of our agents. Um, I don't see Natalie or Angie in here. I know they've used them and successfully. Um, I, I'm using them. I'm doing my, I, I did a trial thing and then actually then you get on a subscription and I just let it go. So um, I just had a, I think this is my second 
batch that went out on the subscription. Well, uh, let me talk, let's talk about Tammy for a second. So Tammy does everything, everything Tammy does works and she lets no, it go. I don't know that that's so, ever worked. I had yeah. I've never had a call that said, no. oh, I saw you in the magazine. <laughs> well, no, but, but that's not what it's about. It's not nobody. I mean, they'd feel stupid to say, hey, yeah, I chose you as my realtor because I saw you in a magazine that you sent to my house with recipes in it. Right. It's just about being front of mind. It's about right. creating obligation. And so one thing he said, I disagree with taking people to lunch or take them to dinner or to play golf or to do whatever uh, is is something that creates obligation within somebody. And they feel like they need to keep using you as their realtor. You stay in their face. And, and as much as that sounds maybe cynical about human behavior, it creates obligation. And hey, if you get, you know, if you make 10 grand from obligation or you make 10 grand from uh, from being handsome or you make 10 grand from whatever it's 10 grand. Right. So, I mean, you do it, whatever you do by being a good salesperson, by being, um, in the right place at the right time, whatever we do, we do, but creating these, these, you know, they say in any business, it's 10 times cheaper to keep a client than to get a new one. And I think that that's, it's a, uh, I think it's very clear in real estate that it's like that. And who doesn't want to get a magazine for, Oh, that's for my realtor. Right. Everybody feels like a big shot when you're when you have a, a realtor and attorney. You know, I have an attorney. You need to talk to my attorney. You know, you've, everybody's a big shot when that kind of stuff happens. And if your realtor values you enough to send you a magazine, obviously they're working with the right realtor. Right. I mean, there's some there's some sort of of, you know, like like you guys, sometimes when you sell uh, home ownership, you sell the pride of home ownership. Right. So you you sell you're selling that emotion. You're, so that's what sales is, the transference of emotion. We're selling that emotion. Um, so I really like reminder media. Um, and by the way, I say everything works for Tammy, Tammy, cause Tammy's a hard worker because Tammy answers leads. Tammy does all the things that you're supposed to do. That's why everything works for Tammy. That was my point about Tammy. Um, so reminder media is, I think it's a really good, really good. It's not expensive at all. And you do want to nail down your top 50 people, you know? Your top 50 people, maybe your top 100 people, um, maybe they haven't worked with you yet, but you want them to work with you. This is going to put you top of mind to them. I get these magazines and I do put them on my coffee table. I live in Winter Garden, um, which is not near UCF, but I live in Winter Garden and I get these little magazines, all these um, home magazines, Winter Garden, downtown, what's going on and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I put them on my coffee table until I get the next one and I throw that one out, you know, so that's that people do keep these little magazines and stuff around. So just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, you guys have, uh, we don't keep anything. So you guys take this 10, 20, 30% you'd be paying to another broker and put it into, into your business. Grow yourself, grow your own brand, grow your marketing, do the things that you wanna do, go to the seminars that you wanna go to, but just have the discipline to, uh, uh, the, and the mentality to keep that money for growing your business. Right. And live on the rest of it like all these other sucker agents who pay their broker a bunch of money. Live on that money. Then that other money, spend on your business. Grow your business. Don't grow your broker's business. Grow your business. So that's what we do. Um, any other questions or comments about absolutely anything real estate related? Nothing. You guys are wonderful. Um, so we were talking about the market. We got to get buyers to move. Um, how many of you guys shared on your social media that, you know, guys rates, uh, yeah, the fed raised the, the, uh, the rate, but actual mortgage rates went down this week. Did you guys see that? Did you guys share that on your social media? I don't think I saw it on any of your social medias. So that's kind of a big deal, right? Mortgage. That's what, that's what people are saying. I don't want to buy a house with mortgage. The first thing you guys said, why are people not buying houses with mortgage rates, right? They came down. You guys, uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've learned about, over the last several weeks, we've learned about uh, two one buy downs and a, a three two one buy down, which came out. I didn't even know that existed until Paul came in. So, you guys know about that kind of stuff. That cuts the kind of stuff that makes people think, hmm, you know, I think, you know, like Paul was saying, he thinks he's going to settle in the fives next year. Um, that's, guys, this isn't, a, this isn't a permanent high interest rate we don't think right so you know these buy downs and stuff like that are you sharing these things are you sharing to people you uh, i mean we didn't know about that how many of you guys knew about the three two one buy down before paul told us i didn't know about the three i knew about the two one but i know about the three two one so these are things do you think the public knows about that you think the public knows about the two one buy down you think if i asked 
Um, anybody on the street, how many out of 100 would know about the 2 1 buy down? Maybe one, because there's at least one realtor in it out of 100. So <laughs> maybe somebody would know, but how many people would really know? Not many, right? So share this kind of stuff, share this knowledge. This is what makes you look like an expert to your circle of influence, right? Your sphere of influence. This is what makes you look like the expert and you need to. Um, again, like, like he had mentioned, people want to work with people they know and like and trust. And it's not trust. Uh, I tell people this all the time. It's not trust like uh, I wouldn't loan you 10 bucks because they'll never see you again. It's trust like trust that you know what you're doing. Not that they, they don't trust you. It's to trust that you know what you're doing in real estate, right? They may love you. They may trust you with their child or their dog or anything like that, but, they, but they've got to trust that you're an expert. And they're going to think you're an expert. They're going to more think you're an expert than they already do if you're sharing stuff like this. So put it on your business page three times a week. Put it on your business page, on your social media, um, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're using. Um, put it on your business page and then once a week, share it. Put three times on there. Um, Tampa is the number one city for this. Orlando is the number two city for that. Whatever it is, right? The beaches are the best or whatever. Or even talk about if you sell in, if you sell uh, beachfront stuff, talk about what uh, the effects of the hurricane and stuff. To share bad news too, right? Share everything. And then once a week, you link that to your thing to your uh, personal, you share to your personal page. If you're on Facebook, share it to your personal page. Okay. You've got it. And, and so, and I know a lot of you guys, um, especially those of you a little older, you don't want to talk about, you don't want to put your kids and your grandkids and your stuff on there. You don't want to check in at your favorite restaurant. You don't want to, you, if you take a ride up to, to a, an old town, like a Mount Dora type thing. You don't want to put, oh, look what's going on here, that kind of stuff. You should share all of that stuff. You checked out a new restaurant, you did whatever. You you, you guys, if you want to be, if you want to be out there and you want to be successful, you can't be a secret agent. They've got to know you're an agent, but they also need to know that you're a person and they want to like you and stuff. Daryl, you do a great job of sharing stuff when you try a new restaurant, or you go to a new town and you do that kind of stuff. I see that. Once a week, share something business related. I mean, everybody knows you're a realtor. You do a pretty good job. But just in general, Daryl does a really good job on his on his Facebook of sharing stuff, day to day type stuff, um, and then dropping some real estate stuff in here, here and there. Um, you guys need to do that. But especially stuff like when you see interest rates going down, that pop that makes my eyes pop, right? And I'm not even out there competing. I'm not looking for buyers. I'm not competing with you guys. But that makes my eyes like, oh, that's fantastic. Hopefully my agents will share this. And then to my disappointment, I scrolled down my social media for three days. I didn't see anything. So I mean, I did other stuff too. So um, that's kind of stuff. So I talked to someone yesterday and um, and I have something for you guys. And it relates greatly to this. And it was about talking to your, um, your sphere of influence. It's about talking to your referral relationships, your past clients, your hopefully future clients. And it's a one question to ask them. And what do we do when we call them and we do get a chance to, and, and this magazine is a great chance also to contact your people. He mentioned that it's a great chance to contact people and say, Hey, just see if you got my magazine, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. But one thing to ask people, it's a very simple question is um, a lot of times we want to ask, Oh, how have you been? What's been going on? How are the kids? You know, all that kind of stuff. One good question is what's next for you. So what's next for you guys? What's next for you? And people will talk about how, well, um, you know, my son is graduating high school this year and, you know, my my daughter's having a baby, whatever it is, right? Whatever's going on with them. We're going to, you know, we're thinking of growing a family and they talk about what's next, right? They talk about what's going on in the future. It gives them a chance to do that. If you say, if you just say, hey, how are you guys loving that house? Um, first of all, there's a lot of psychology involved in that. I don't want to go into but you know when you ask people how much you guys love in that house they're going to come up with something bad people like a balance so they're going to come up with well it's good but our neighbors you know whatever they're going to come up with something um if you say how's that dump that you bought they're going to say well it's not that bad everybody likes a balance right so they're going to if you tear it down they're going to build it up if you build it up they're going to tear it down so that's just something to keep in mind but instead of just talking about how much they love whatever you've done for them ask them about the future what is what is going on what's next for you guys Right. So just something to think about when you talk to people, get that, get that. Uh, you, we're trying to, I mean, we're not trying to get them to do anything they don't want to do, but we're trying to find out what's next for them, where they want to go, what they want to do. Um, if they're, well, you know, the kids are starting school next year. Huh? Um, have you guys thought about changing school districts, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, whatever it is, right. 
So just something to keep in mind. Any other questions, comments? Come on, you guys, you guys have something. I have one question, I guess, or um, yeah, yeah I guess I, what do you recommend to like, uh, I've been doing this for a little bit of time and I'm not, like you said, I think I'm kind of a, a secret agent. <laughs> so what do you suggest to kind of renew the incentive to be out there and put myself out there? Like, what do you recommend for me to go after to kind of do that and come back again, I guess, better? What, what do you mean? I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. Well, yeah, because I've been doing uh, real estate for like 10 years, but like in the low profile kind of side, like you said, like secret agent. Um, so I kind of like lose the interest of it a little bit, even though I, you know, I, hear, I still hear clients because I talk to almost all my past clients every now and then, and they're happy. They were happy with me. They still recommend me, whatever. Uh, but I kind of lose the interest to put in myself out there. So I, I need like an incentive. What do you recommend for me to kind of go after and renew this interest besides the money, of course? <laughs> um, so what do I recommend that you do to, to regain? So you, when you say interest, you've lost interest in doing it or you've lost momentum. Like people aren't really excited about you need to, you need to get other people excited about you again. No, I think it's me. I'm not too excited about the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, well if, I mean, if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, you've got to be excited about getting yourself out there. I, I, cause, because your enthusiasm is what, you know, uh, sales is the transference of enthusiasm. If you don't have enthusiasm, you're probably not going to get other people excited. So um, just, I, I, I don't, Honestly, Martha, I don't know what to tell you. If you're not, if you're not excited, I don't know. I mean, I guess you're doing okay then. If you're not excited about expanding, I, I, am I, I? I don't know if I'm understanding that correctly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand you. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> well, yeah. It's just not what I want to hear, you know. But yeah. well, well, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, I know, do you, like, think... you don't have to get out of it. But yeah, I mean, think- it's just that because it, it, it's in it real estate, and even in my situation, I don't make a lot of sales. You know that, but it's it is easy. I just I can't see myself doing anything else because of the commitment that other jobs require. And this is, I'm gonna say easier. I mean, with the schedule and the flexibility, not that it's easier to sell, but you know what I'm saying. So that's what I'm like. Uh, it's fine, and I know how to do this, like the theory, uh, the theory on, on the processing and the uh, negotiation and everything. I think I'm good at that. I'm usually getting my clients what they expect from me, uh, but it's just kind of like I don't know. <laughs> I'm like so. So, do you want more business? I wish, yeah, because I've been doing this for a long time, and I can't make it, you know, over seven sales a year. And I want to do at least ten for like I tell you, come on, I did something noticeable, you know. <laughs> so you want more business, but you're but you're not, uh, you know. Um, uh, Ida made a good point. You look into other areas of real estate. It, it sounds like you're not excited about real estate, but you like the flexibility of it. Um, it, it and, and and you're making, uh, you know, you're getting by. So is is that what you're talking about? You'd like to do better at it, but you're not, but you don't love it or? I guess, yes. I'm not feeling like I'm loving it. Like, oh yeah, I know how to do this and that, but I'm not doing it what I used to do. I used to do, go visit everybody like Tommy was saying and, and keeping in contact with everybody this past year has been like, Oh, <laughs> you know, I don't even right. know how I have clients. <laughs> well, if you guys have uh, other ideas for Martha, I'll be happy to, to talk to you uh, privately about this. Um, if you want to call or something. Um, but yeah, I think that it is on the right track. Um, maybe another area of real estate. Um, Cause I don't know guys, you guys are in a, uh, you guys, it's it, this business can be a struggle, but you guys are in the best business in the world, I think. I mean, if you can't be a professional uh, athlete or, or singer or something, this is the best business you can have. You make your own schedule. Nobody tells you how much money you can make. You can you can do whatever. And it's a wonderful business. I know a lot of you guys have been in a long time and you absolutely love it. Um, and when you try to do something else, you'll love it even more because other jobs are no fun. Um, so it is it is a fantastic industry. And uh, I mean, and I think Martha knows that. that's why she's doing it. Um, but if you're not, if you're not loving what you're doing, um, check into another area of real estate. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, and, but I mean, I'll be happy to talk to you about some of that. Gotcha. Thank you, Brian. Um, any other questions or comments? Um, I, I have a, um, an idea for Marta. Maybe she can get into a th um, like a team. You know, this girl that is in Tampa that she normally coach people. Uh, maybe she needs any kind of motivation thing to, you know, get with people every day, try to get in a team, uh, set up a goal, anything. Mm -hmm. That would probably help. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. She needs some kind of motivation for sure. And, and it's just got to be, it's, but it's got to be passion. It's got to be passion for what she's doing. Uh, I don't know that other people are going to bring that to her if she doesn't just love what she's doing. So yeah, I, I we'll, we'll talk about that stuff. Um, any other questions or comments? Um, so Nina is still looking for new construction near UCF. Um, so Nina, if you need help setting up a, a auto search for that or something, I can help you with that. Any other questions or comments? Thank you, Ryan. You bet. And 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 but first of all, Sunaya, just Google it. Google new construction near UCF or something like that, and a bunch of stuff yeah, will pop yeah. up. I'm, You'll see a I'm bunch going, of communities. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I just, you know, got this call last night. So since we were having the meeting, I said I'll just run it by everybody. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go under new construction and all. Thank you. It's grown up so much over there that you're gonna be, I mean, pretty far out from UCF probably to find new stuff. Um hmm. All right. Any other uh, questions or comments? So um, next week, big meeting. It'll be pretty exciting. And, and it's, it's, that's why it's funny that Sunina brought that up. The MLS of pre-construction. Um, so we'll be do, talking about that next week. They'll be here for you. Um, Kathy is moving back to the area. So um, I guess somebody helped you with this. Um, yes, pocket legal, listings are not legal. You can do it for 24 hours before you before you put it on the MLS. Um, but uh, if anybody knows of something upcoming, then they can tell you about it personally. Since you're the buyer yourself, that's fine. Um, any other questions or comments? You know what? Hey, I, Ryan, I like it's Hashi. Sorry. How are you? Oh, oh, good. We'll go to you next, Daryl. Go ahead, Hashi. Yes, I just wanted to say, um, there's a new area like north of the villages called Oklawaha. And I just, I purchased an investment property up there, but if anyone has clients up that way, they have, they have single family homes, three to um, under 250. Mm. So the zip code, I can post it in the chat. It's 32179. So that's a nice little area. It's right between um, the villages and Ocala. Mm -hmm. All right. That place is growing like crazy. All of that, yeah. all of that whole area. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys are going to hear about, Sumter County being a, a hotbed of, uh, you know, so Sumter County is probably, a lot of you probably never even heard of it. Um, that you're going to hear about it soon. It's a, the villages is growing there like crazy. And so other, all of the, um, all of the, uh, and I say this lovingly, the parasites of the villages, people who build like stuff near there and stuff to, to take advantage of that are doing that as well. Although the, the villages does a pretty good job of buying up all the land so nobody can do much of that. They want to get it all because they have their own commercial and their own everything. Um, their exactly. Own commercial, commercial properties, their own bowling alleys and restaurants and all the stuff that they own and stuff too. So, um, all right. So yeah, they do a really good job of that. And so Hashi's found something far enough outside to where people have done their own, their own thing. But uh, yeah, that's for people who want to live... Uh, around the villages but not in the villages so it's kind of nice for them and it's very affordable um any other uh questions or comments before we go i've got a comment on the coaching idea i think yes, that's a really sir. i think that's a really good idea for martha um there's a really good free coach on youtube um he's another agent he works in texas ricky caruth um all of his coaching is free he comes up with really good ideas um, he makes over a million a year. Um, I think it'd be a good, she should check him out. Definitely. Just to see any, he, and he does coaching maybe once every, what, two or three, you can pay for it. No, you can't. I think it's all free. Yeah. I don't even think he has any paid sessions any longer. Um, or, or actually ever did, but he, he works out of Texas. He sells a lot of condos and single families and he comes up with really good ideas. It's all free on YouTube. 
Ricky. Okay. Cover. I just Googled him and I put his name in the chat. He's go. how to go from zero to million dollar agent. Yep. And stuff. And he's, he's got some written, really good he's written, ideas now. He's written a book and he does a lot of YouTube stuff. I just saw him. Yeah, I've, him. I've, I think I've bought two or three books from him and, and it's all good stuff. Okay. Well, that's his name in the chat if anybody needs it. Thank you. You bet. We'll take care of you, Mark. We'll get you going. Get you excited again. Um, any other questions or comments before we go? Nope. All good. Anybody need anything? All right. Go to your, uh, check out our, our Facebook page and uh, it's FRI agents. If you don't have it already, um, get on there and, and get connected to our people and uh, get excited. Let's go get them. Um, and we'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week and talk to you soon. Bye guys.